Hi, my name is Arturo Farrell. I'm the founder and artistic director of the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance, and I welcome you to this edition of uh, The Village, our Digital Plaza Friday series. And I think this is going to be um, an amazing uh, Friday. Uh, we're uh, re-streaming a uh, stream that was done uh, originally on BronxNet uh, with Casita Maria and the Bronx Banda uh, initiative that we started. And it was actually in the middle of uh, kind of the worst of the beginning of the real setting of the pandemic era. And I thought this was an incredible work of art. Uh, it was aired originally June 12th and uh, the Bronx Banda is a band of musicians and, and performers and composers that I put together for a Doris Duke Charitable uh, Foundation grant uh, to bring jazz to the Bronx. And what we did was we, uh, through open audition, we heard all kinds of Bronx residents in performance. And uh, this particular performance featured also the work of Amy Trumpeter at Blackbird Red Wing Theater from Rosendale, New York. It's kind of an amazing program. It's completely mad, insane stuff. We recorded uh, virtually and uh, and married it somehow to the amazing puppetry of uh, Amy Trumpeter and her uh, her troupe of uh, puppeteers in Rosendale. Uh, the Bronx Banda features Kayla Facilongo, uh, Annette Aguilar, uh, Juan Carlos Polo, Leo Traversa, Clark Gayton, uh, Lenor Falcon, and Juan Matrujillo. Uh, and it's beautiful, uh, strange uh, collaboration also with Baba Israel. Uh, it's bizarre and it's creative and it's work that we hope you enjoy. Just to keep you posted, there are other things that are happening on October 25th. We will be having our Notes for Votes uh, stream which will feature incredible people from throughout the musical performing world to uh, exhort you to vote and change the situation, the drastically uh, scary situation that we have found ourselves in for the past four years. I can't endorse a candidate, but I can tell you to watch uh, Vijay Iyer, uh, Branford Marcellus, Terrence Blanchard, William Parker, Matt Shipp, Carla Blay, Simone Dinnerstein, um, incredible performers, the Villalobos brothers. Uh, we just added uh, some other kind of amazing uh, musicians that I'm kind of not at liberty to tell you because the, the names are pretty amazing. So I'm going to expect you, hopefully, to watch on October 25th as we... Uh, ask you to do your, your work, the work that's required to live in a free and democratic society that is not governed by uh, fear, deception, and uh, division. Please, October 25th at 8.30 p.m., watch Notes for Votes, Writers and Musicians for a Saner Future. Thanks a lot and enjoy this special edition of La Plaza Fridays, Digital Village, Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance. This is Bronx Banda. Hey, it's Will Calhoun here. And what's more important than the groove? Nothing. Whoa, holy moly, holy mole. I don't know, man. We're constantly changing things around here. Uh, we planned a whole different series of events uh, for Casita Maria and Doris Duke, and we were going to be playing in barbershops and uh, and boxing rings and laundromats, and something amazing and wonderful happened, a uh, revolution and a pandemic. And all of a sudden, we found ourselves reinventing who we were, and all of us have had to become different things, and all of us have had to grow. We've had to learn to march, to speak to live stream, to engineer, to perform, to take on new and different ways of looking at life. And I think that's what this evening is about. That's what this moment is about, the reinvention of the way we do music, the way we interact with one another, and the way that we grow as a, as a society, as a global society, because the other way wasn't working. And so we put together a bunch of people from all over the world, different backgrounds, all brought together the magic and the style and the imagination of the Bronx. 
which is powerful and moves all of us. And so we're celebrating the Bronx today with all these wonderful guests who you'll get to meet in a minute. But before we do that, I just want to say this is reinventing, this is recreating, this is becoming, and becoming is better than just being. Unknown gods, we drove away. We invoke you. You who are not named, but are not nameless. Harden our arrogance. Return to us. Birch trees, red, black, yellow, and white. The colors of the rainbow and the colors of the people. In these times of COVID, and of taking the knee. We renew our strength from community.
Here you see Henry Hudson's ship called the Great Floating Bird by the Algonquin tribes. Let us remember the native tribes who lived here in the Bronx and beyond for thousands of years before Henry Hudson's ship arrived. In this scene, you will see Henry Hudson, the peaceful brother, giving gifts. And Robert Jewett, the greedy brother, taking everything he can lay his hands on. And here you see the crew of Henry Hudson's ship, the Half Moon. They just killed a manta ray a fish sacred to Algonquin tribes, a magnificent creature, a mysterious fish, a god of the oceans that was never to be seen again in the waters of New York Harbor. Let the myriad altars we destroyed merge up again, oceans of gods, and lave the world and wash the world with generous prayer. Restore, we beseech you, your manifold blessings. Here you will see the Dutchman Jonas Bronx and his wife Henrietta Slagman, who bought the Bronx in 1639 for two axes, two kettles, two guns, two coats, and some coins. Four years later, he died, and 4.5 years later, she remarried. Al Algonquin tribes had no word for buying or selling land. The land belongs to everyone. Over time, Algonquin tribes were forcibly removed. The Bronx is burning because of greed. The Bronx is burning, it's hard to breathe. The Bronx is burning what we need. The Bronx is burning a seed. That seed was planted in the imaginations of young people. An ancestral seed carried from West Africa across the tragedy of oceans. Carried across time on freedom roads, underground railroads. Survived Jim Crow in the fight for civil rights. Landed in the minds and hearts of young men and women in the borough of the Bronx where records birthed a new culture. DJs the storytellers, they summoned dancers to the floor to sweat out the stink of survival. Lindy Hop, Tap Step, Kung Fu Salsa, indigenous steps, a recipe of movement that becomes the b-boys and girls that rose, spun, flipped, and flew like a phoenix. Hip hop, a rising spirit out of fire, out of the fire of arson. Gunshots, the spark of spliffs, and the fires and barrels under a bridge on a dark night. The sacred act of turning, burning into learning your craft to put in the time to soar. There was once a DJ, a wizard, Grand Wizard Theodore, whose magic was to transform elements, to take a turntable invented to play music, and to let hands and hearts imagine it as an instrument, like a percussionist, hands ablaze on the conga, skin to skin become skin to vinyl, a young man born in Harlem, raised in the boogie down Bronx. Bang, bang, blood boom, cops corrupt, yo, where's the broom? Dirty secrets, payoffs, layoffs, stay strong, can't stay so Burn out buildings, catch those feelings Public school, treat you like a fool Numbers for Columbus and George Washington Instead of Marcus Garvey and Harriet Tubman Single parent in many homes Kids often all alone Find community at a block party Hanging at Casita Maria A basement and speakers, flashes on the wheels Me, Gene is on the scene Be a dog playing ping pong Painting and singing songs Rock'em, sock'em, robots Away past those roadblocks Now mama don't take no mess Music Release all that stress. So train on a Saturday. Al Green, Donnie Hathaway. A building, a feeling, a feeling that's healing. Each floor, a musical tour. Salsa, and your rock and roll, jazz, and that soul. James Brown makes the dancers rock. Grand Wizard of the Scratch and the Needle Drop. Mama's opening doors and kitchens. The Bronx, the culture, and the cultural rhythm.
The Bronx became a, a borough of New York City. People, the colors of the rainbow, red, white, yellow, brown, black, came with their families from many countries all over the world to live together in the South Bronx. They built a community. And when the South Bronx was threatened, they organized. When all is said and done, we must do what we must do. Brave the brickbats. Brave the rotten eggs, the dead cats. Way to slum clearance. All is said and done. You can put this in your pipe and smoke it. You must cope with whatever. Meat coffee, half buttered sandwiches, undercanned hot dogs. Depression with cream puffs. The envy of Gath and Eshkel. You must do what we must do. Ruthless, inhuman. Run the gauntlet, nobody can tear down. Brave the brickbats, ancient wreck, infested rookery. Brave the rotten eggs. Without first moving people, we must cope with whatever. Stop. It's time to balance your heart and your mind. The time of conquest is over. It's over. It's done. In our time of withdrawal, in our time of solitude, we see so much. We are masked, physically masked, but then there is an unmasking that happens with the masking. We see things differently. And we see the disparities, we see the inequalities, we see the hatred, we see the rawness that is happening all over the world and in our society. We're calling up all of the energies from all of the peoples around the world to say no and stand in their truth. The world is for the people. It's not for the handful of corporations who are stripping down every resource in every country. We have to come out of this battle. We must. No more theory. We must. You've got to balance your heart and your mind. We win. Compassion for the people. Love for the people. Rights for the people. Health care for the people. Money for the people. Homes for the people. Shelter for the people. Shelter.
Robert Moses and his inflated vision of himself. He thinks the sun and moon revolves around him. Here is Robert Moses as he conquers City Hall. And here is the Algonquin Muncy Delaware word for being driven insane by selfish greed and lust for power. Something we see a lot of today. And now we'll continue our chapter on Robert Moses and the Cross Bronx Expressway. He's determined to build the Cross Bronx Expressway and the neighborhood people organize to stop him. They write petitions, they attend meetings, they lobby, they publicize in the press and they gain a lot of sympathy, but nothing, nothing stops this man. He controls the powers that be and the machinery that reduces their beloved homes to rubble and shards of glass. who are always on the right side of history, rise up and they raise their voices. And you know what they say to Robert Moses? This is all wrong. People are dying. How dare you? All you talk about is money. People are suffering.
Here is hip hop DJ Grand Wizard Theodore, who invented techniques of scratching and needle drops. He says, I was raised in the Bronx. The neighborhood I grew up in had a lot of abandoned buildings. During the late 60s, the landlords couldn't get anyone to move into their buildings. So they started burning their own buildings to collect insurance money. That's why people said the Bronx is burning. In this world, there's so much pain and so much drama. So right now, I want to dance with my mama. Dance with my mama. Let's dance with your mama. So if you got your mama with you, wherever she is, dance with your mama. Come on. Ready to dance, mama? Here we go. This is my mom, original member of the Living Theater. She's 85 and alive. That's right. Oh, I shouldn't have told him that, right? Here we go. Let's dance, mama. Here we go.
Valerie Capers, pianist, composer, music teacher. When I was a little child, I got very sick. When I got better, I lost my eyesight. As a little girl, I didn't get that upset. I had a fantastic education, but some things weren't brought to me at all. We didn't talk about African-American contributions to the United States. I never heard of an African-American composer in any of my music classes. I never heard anything about Sojourner Truth. I didn't learn anything about her until I was grown. It was then I decided to write a piece called Sojourner, and it was very well received. across the globe, we can again say the world is upside down. But this is the moment we have music, we have dance, and we're going to turn the world right side.
just wasn't a woman Where did your Christ Where did your Christ come from Where did your Christ Where did your 
Hey yo, blackness, black fist, whiteness, fight this, construct, conduct, outspoken and broken, hoping is joking, provoking the choking of a man. Time to take a stand, take a knee, justice ain't free. Bro, protest, so stressed, black man, white man, new plan, no clan. Hey yo, black woman, white woman, gender politics, black feminists, repping this. White silence is violence, but I'm also learning how to step back, listen deep, sitting in the fire, cause talk is cheap. On the sojourn for the truth. Build a foundation, ayo, and raise the roof As a man I need to humble and crumble the ego Call out the space, ayo, find the grace to meet the pace Defeat the white supremacist who lives inside me Defeat the misogynist, monotonous, you'll find me In the difficult ritual of facing my own trauma Yo, I'm caring for my own mama But I can't heal if we don't all heal That's the real deal, reveal our original sins Our country is soaked in the blood of the indigenous It's insidious the razor is part of the plan There can never be justice on stolen land Our nation's the original looters Not secrets or computers But humans, heart, body, and soul Domination and control From the plantation to the police state I do indeed hate Jim Crow to curfew These cops will hurt you I see black women on the front lines Focus, righteous and mad I saw a black man turning his badge I see white folks in the streets and I'm glad I saw a Brooklyn black dad Surrounded like he was in Baghdad He spoke with spirit and no one was bad I saw a man taking youth on the run I saw a mother hiding out so she could make it back to her son Back to her son This is the turning point. We're turning the world right side up. We must. And now we are dancing our way into the future with the wonderful music traditions of the South Bronx. <laughs>
the mountains to the cities. We humans are curious creatures. We dance and sing and sweat and work and love like our lives depend on it. We plant, play, huddle close like the animals of the forest. We also rule with a viciousness beyond the teeth of the most feared predator. We humans, we live in cities and villages and towns and suburbs and deserts and seasides, farms and forests and jungles. Who is the king of our jungle? Who is the great tiger on a throne held up by madness? This tweeting tiger king is a virus, a behemoth blowhard. Who is our rabbit, our uncle rabbit? T.O., let us summon the magic mind of the poor and righteous, the candlelight of common sense, the mystic mischievousness that is needed when greed rears its ugly head like a fearsome face full of teeth let us be quick like the rabbit and strap our guitars to our backs to sing the songs that have been passed on the sacred music of the rabbit who dances across the keys of the piano the rabbit reminds us that we cannot resist with piety alone but with music and its mystic tricks Out of the ashes of the burning Bronx, the young people invented hip hop, music honoring the struggles that people were going through. Musical influence from Africa, the Caribbean, from all over the world and making their own sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
put my foot down and I said, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it.
unknown gods, abundant in divinity. Without you, we cannot be human. Let the myriad altars we destroyed surge again. Oceans of gods lave the world, wash the world with generous prayer. Restore, we beseech you, your manifold blessings. Return to us, O oh God. This one is for the musicians, the cats who carry upright basses on the six train. From the Bronx to the Blue Note, this is for the $50 hit with three sets and a drink ticket. This is for those in Europe who play festival stages, and when they back in Brooklyn, the L train platform. This is for Bertha. This is for the unexpected moment, a soundtrack of opera, bebop, and the all-important sacred act of collecting records. This is for the church bands, the rhythm of devotion, in the face of the fires of injustice, which were burning then and are burning now. Summon the spirituals, the sounds of a piano, a catalyst of keys, sister duets, a father who had that King Cole round. Bertha and a Bud Powell record explodes. Bebop and blues. She bopped across the country. Underage nightclub gigs. Stranded in Florida to rooms in the Bronx. Dense and vertical. Black Caribbean streets and stoops. Ups and downs. Telephone company gigs. Crocheting the Bronx boutique Nick Koofies. This is for musicians who work every gig and still summon the energy to play their own. Motherhood. Kicking the kick. Head start, call to the music, a composer, big beautiful phrasing, a total human being, being human, Bertha, big beautiful phrasing, total human being, being human, total being, being human, total being, being human, music sound all around us, surrounds us, when we feel like we're gonna drown in trust, rises, falls and capsizes, and we see it in the iris, the musical papyrus, write the notes, Pose the flows, rhythm and watch as it grows.
I'm Elena Martinez, the co-artistic director of the Bronx Music Heritage Center. I'm happy to be here shedding more light on women in jazz because it's still an issue. I was told by Bertha Hope, who had an all-women jazz band, Jazzberry Jam, when she sends information to promoters, she never sends a picture because if they see four older ladies, they won't hire them. When it's an elder jazz great, he is great. And his picture gets postured all over. Everywhere has a tradition of honoring men. Today, all of us here are trying hard to rectify that situation. I'm Bertha Hope. There was that time when I gave away my piano, but I got it back. I got it back. Hey, delivery, coming in. Piano. I miss the music and the idea of creating music together with other people and being part of a group that felt the same way I did about the music. I thought I had a little more to say. And the piano is my instrument to say it. Oh, <laughs> 
can't help but smile because Leo has showed us such a valuable lesson just now. Uh, there's been rough times. Uh, this may look like a really rough time to some people. And uh, we have heroes with people who have uh, plowed through no matter what. And uh, some of my heroes are Annette Aguilar, Kayla Facilongo, Leonor Falcone, Clark Gayton, Baba Israel, Juan Carlos Polo, Leo Traversa, Juan Matrujillo. Also, uh, our great dear friend, Gail Heidel, and the Casita Maria staff, and the people who are so lovingly guiding us through this process at Culture Hub. And so I leave you with something that I raised my kids. They're, they're, they, 
they're still working this out in therapy because periodically while they were growing up, I'd yell out something to them. I'd yell at them and say, what's more important than the groove? And they would look at me with a nervous smile and go, nothing. And so we band together against the evil, against the oppressive police brutality, against the fascist regime. And we stand up as artists and as human beings who are are deserving of equal dignity, all of us. Stop. We can't breathe. Hi, this is DJ Logic. What's more important than the groove? Nothing. Nada. 